Welcome to the brand new show here at Biddeford Public Access. My name is Sean Henderson. The name of the show is called Stay Tuned. I just wanted to introduce myself a little bit. Um, I have been involved in the music world, uh, promoting the music world for, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 years, something like that. I've been doing it a long time. I run music venues. Uh, I've been involved in radio, still involved in radio, and I've dabbled in television a few times. And I'm really excited to be joining the team here at Bitterford Public Access to uh, do this show. Stay Tuned is a live music show. And what I do is I invite a lot of my friends and a lot of uh, musical acts that tour the nation, the area, wherever they're out there, making a living, presenting, making music and presenting music. And uh, I think that's a very valuable asset to the community. So I'm very excited to be able to do this. I'm very excited to be able to present this to you. And I'm hoping that you uh, get to meet a lot of different artists that you've never heard before. And uh, we broaden your horizons somewhat and entertain you quite a bit. So I do want to thank I want to thank Steve here at Bitterford Public Access for allowing me to do this and um, yeah so welcome. So as I said, it is a live music show today. I do have a band here. I uh, this is our first show, so I asked them if they'd be our guinea pigs. They were more than happy to do it. So I also because this is television, uh, I look for the band with the best looking people I could find. So there's two of, two of the three are really good looking. I'll let you decide which two. Uh, the name of the bar, name of the name of the band is called Hilton Park, and uh, I love these guys. Absolutely love them. They have a brand new album out called Strings. And we have that. And when I say brand new, I mean this is brand spanking new. This has just come out, and it's getting a lot of buzz too. So we are going to hear songs from this album, and uh, their debut album, and we'll sit and chat and get to know them just a little bit. The name of the band is called Hilton Park. Here they are, and they're gonna do something off the brand new disc. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean. If I could take out my heart and put it in a traveling show, folks would come.
I go off to work every day Then I'm anticipating the next kiss that's waiting To kiss my Sing a song for the girl of my dreams. Fantastic. That was awesome. Girl of My Dreams is the name of that song. The album, again, is called Strings. That was great. Thank you. That's a I song, love that song. That's a song I wrote for my wife, uh, Vicky. She must have, and, that had, uh, must have gone a long way to getting you some brownie yeah, points. Yeah, it's gone. Uh, that's brownie points galore. He's and, not and, sleeping in the trailer anymore. That's, 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 that's I wish um, I had that talent to write a song where I got in trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I wrote it on this, this instrument, which belonged to my dad. It's a like an 80-year-old tenor guitar that I modified for lap steel playing, and uh, and um, so it's pretty cool stuff. Get to do a song on a guitar that belonged to my dad that I wrote for my wife, and I get to play it with my son. So, welcome to the family. Everybody. Right on, that's fantastic. And I was reading in your blog actually, you wrote something about this song, mm. um, and you and you is it, it you and your brother? Was your brother you were in? A, your first band was with your brother, is that correct? That's true. Yes. And um, you kind of just threw that in the attic, and you, no one wanted to touch that guitar. And how did oh, you... I touched it plenty when I was a little oh, yeah. kid. That's why it's Not all in the cracked. Right way. Bad touch. <laughs> yeah, bad the, touch. The, the bad, the bad, in the bad way. No, I, I mean we used to have hammer on it. We thought it was worthless, you know. And oh, yeah. uh, <coughs> it was. It's a. It's actually. It sounds amazing. It's just an incredible instrument. I rescued it about five years ago from mm. the attic. So. So it was just something that before was the style of music or what it played, and you just said, no, it's not where I'm going? Or is, is, I'm no, just I just wondering how it was a, got rescued from I just thought it was a piece of junk, I guess, yeah. you know, and, and, you know um, and then got curious about it one day, and I, I thought putting strings on it would snap it in half from the uh -huh. tension, but uh, it makes a great noise. You Absolutely. Know? Fantastic, so, fantastic sound. And, thank you. And, of course, you guys sound great. And I want to thank you guys for coming in and being part of our, our debut. Stay tuned. Uh, well, uh, it's our debut Stay Tuned here. I know that Stay Tuned has had a bunch of uh, incarnations, and right, you've right. been a part of almost every one of them, and I yeah, appreciate right. that. Yeah. And, uh, well, Bruce, Connor, you're, you know, Hilton Park is a, is a, a new one. I'm yeah. a uh, young in there. And, I, and I'm sorry that I implied that you weren't the good-looking one when I in my intro. It was but. obviously you. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, so, duh. I mean, duh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I won't try to make any more jokes, but you guys are uh, absolutely fantastic. And I do want to thank you for coming in and being part of it. You know, you're Appreciate good it. sports to be my guinea pig, so to speak. <laughs> uh, but I'm really excited to, for the people here in Biddeford and wherever else this is showing to, to hear your music. And I do want to congratulate you on the new album. Strings is a new album. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. fantastic. Just came out. Uh, sophomore release from you guys. Right. And, and you did send me over a copy, and it just sounds fantastic. It was... <clears throat> Well, we'll get into the sounds of it. I want to get another song in, um, but it, it's it's a lot different than the debut, I think. And really? I want to I want to get your uh, wow. take on that. When we that talk well, about. I, wow, we blew that. I know. <laughs> you want to stay in that rut and keep Jeez. going? Back to the uh, drawing board. But it, it really has this. I think the sound has grown, and I think the uh, the the unit as a whole has gotten a little tighter. That's what I hear, anyway, from what I, what I was listening yeah, to. Yeah, I can hear. I, I've been listening to a shuffle of both uh, uh -huh. albums while I'm driving, and um, yeah, I can I can hear a little, uh, definitely a, a bit more of a. It's a bit. There's a better sound. We use some different tricks in the studio uh -huh. this time around, and um, we really were in love with the the songs. There's a lot of really fun lyrical content, um, stories behind every song, and um, musically, we're doing some stuff that just is. Especially vocally, it's just out there. We do some some bizarre things sometimes. Yeah, there's a, there. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. You want me to sing what note? No, yeah. no, no. Right. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, whatever you're doing, it sounds good, really. Seriously, I just Thanks. I love the the new album, and it's getting a lot of buzz too. And we'll we'll talk about that too. But right now, um, you guys still have your instrument, so why don't we do another song? Let's do another sure. song off of Strings. So let's do the title track. Yeah, this is the this, we'll do the title track. So this is called Strings. Oh, I start this. You do. <laughs> <laughs> Strings is the name of that song. Uh, title track off the brand new release from Hilton Park. That was fantastic. Thank you. Um, that one thing that I noticed in the new album was, and correct me if I'm wrong. It seems like Greg. You're wrong. 
Oh, sorry. Go ahead. It <laughs> wouldn't be the first time. Um, that the, the piano seems to be more up front in a lot of these songs than in the last album. Is that? Am I just hearing that, or is that true? I, uh, it's in, true. In, in some songs, it definitely uh -huh. is. Um, it, it but it just, seems it seems to be up more throughout the whole album than it than it did on Greener. Ground, well, I think but. I think I have an idea why because um, when I suck less. <laughs> yeah, he's doing better. You know, he's been playing better. it now like for that. eight months. Yeah, so it's been eight months. we let him. Get, you know, no, actually, when we started this group, it started off with uh, Connor and I just noodling around on some new instruments. And some of the songs from Greener Grass were formed from those sessions. Did, yeah. I invited Greg in to actually, uh, you know, to do some session work. And I, I thought there was one song that piano would sound great on. So he came in and played. And it was like, wow, it was so great. And well, what about this one, too? And then so the first album was formed from very early, early stages when there was no piano. Mm -hmm. And so Greg right. kind of filled in piano in a lot of places where it would fit, whereas now where it's, you know, we're more of a cohesive group here where the, the piano can become a, um, in, in, in a couple of songs, it's the primary instrument. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we've it just changed our writing style a bit. That last song actually started, uh, Connor had the riff. I did. The song. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just, and we, we were messing around with it for quite a while, and then Bruce came up with a basic structure for it. And then as soon as I started messing with it, there's, I, I don't know if anybody in New England knows, there's a song from way back, I grew up in Chicago, and there's a song called Lakeshore Drive by Aliota Haynes and Jeremiah. Everybody look it up, it's an awesome song, and you will know exactly where I stole the piano part from. Um, it, isn't, it isn't exactly the same, but if you listen to the two, you know where I got the idea right. for it. And it ended up just kind of being the propeller for, for the rest of the song in the long run, but it, it didn't start that way at all. It started mm. out very, very different. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it just kind of evolved which was cool. Yeah. I'm sure, uh, did most of the songs evolve like that? I mean, we used to, yeah. when you, you start off with a riff like that, Connor. I uh, came up with a riff randomly, just noodling around on this one day, and didn't really expect where it was gonna go. Showed it to my dad, he thought it was really cool. And we worked on it a little bit, then kind of put it aside for a while. Uh -huh. And then we really started working to, on it, and now it's, it is what it is. And yeah, Greg kind of came up with the bridge, which is, mm -hmm. You know, because it's such a happy, poppy little song, and then the bridge comes along, and all of a sudden it goes to a darker place. This is the the, the doubt of this relationship. Mm, well, things, mm, yeah, right. you know, things might get hard. They may, you know, but then it all flows back in again at the end. You know, so we ended up making almost all the songs ended up being pretty cinematic. There's, yeah. there's really absolutely it does have that cinematic feel. That's yeah, a good word yeah. for it. Which, yep. You know, we don't have any. Well, all right, in, on one song there's big strings, but in general there's no big yeah. strings. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. But we didn't we didn't resort to the you know the typical sort of cinematic cliches. It just kind of the way the stories are told mm -hmm. came up that way. There's yeah. a lot of drama. It's in the lyric. It's it's in the you know in the way the songs yeah. are constructed. Yeah. Too. Did you find writing the song, Bruce? You wrote most of the songs. Are all the songs is that? Well, Most we started them. That's yeah, not uh -huh. sure, but yeah. they all we all wind up really. So it's been a collab. So mm -hmm. really true collaboration. That's great. Mm -hmm. Even on the lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. real good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and for like, well, the next song we, we were going to play, uh, Alabama Moon, is a, a a song that it's very cinematic. It, it's actually based on um, uh, Boo Radley, the character from To Kill a Mockingbird. Mm -hmm. Then Robert Duvall played. That would him make in the it movie. bookomatic, not cinematic, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you got it. Gregory, Gregory Peck. In I was the, just going to say, Gregory was Peck was in the movie. Right. Yeah. So I was intrigued by the, the idea of the, the, the character Boo Radley, who was this reclusive, you don't really see him till the end of the, the film. And everybody has all this, you know, the kids have gossip and all these stories about him. You know, he killed somebody or this or that, you know. So I decided to take the character of Boo Radley and put him. Um, in, at, in old age now, um, he's an old man, he's gone back to being a recluse, the town still gossips about him, and a lot of them don't remember the events of To Kill a Mockingbird, mm -hmm. with the whole, the trial and, and the, the, the racism and everything that went on. And, um, and so they find that this, this weird old guy, he sings this song in his house every night um, about how the moon shines on everyone equally and nobody really understands what he's talking about, but we all do because we read the book or saw the movie, <laughs> you know? So, um, 
yeah, we kind of we kind of placed that character into into the song, and it and again, it's cinematic in that way too. You know, it's a lot of fun. That's fantastic. Now, did the story change at all? I'm, I'm, um, when you're writing this song, when you when you talk about a collaboration, how did this story change? Who added? Who had? You know. I had the lyrics on this it one. all from a certain... The lyrics in this one were, were, were all mine. We were pretty oh, yeah. set when we yeah. started. Oh, yeah. Just okay. minor tweaks here and yeah. there, a couple words. I had had that. the song for a few years, actually, and then I added the chorus and um, um, for, for our version of it. And, uh, and then it was just musical arrangement, really, that we, we worked on together. You know? right. Well, let's hear it. How's okay. That? Now, Hello for then. everyone on, who has this on their DVR, pause it now. Go watch To Kill a Mockingbird so that the song makes sense. Then you can come back, okay? Right. Or read we'll the wait. book. We'll or, or read the book. We'll wait. We'll, read the, yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll be we'll here when you come back. Read. Okay, here we go. Mm. Old Man Radley sits in his window Watching the world float by Eyes of glass looking at nothing with no tears left to cry Does he think of lost companions In a world where it don't belong Every night cicadas fall silent As he breaks out into this song
That was fantastic. Thanks. Absolutely Thanks, fantastic. Alabama Moon is the name of that song. It's off the brand new album from Hilton Park. The name of the album is called Strings. And uh, that's nice. Very nice. Now, are the lyrics in here? I mean, no. I mean, not the lyrics, but the stories that you did, like that story? You didn't nope. put that in there? They're not in there. Um, we have a download version you can get from our website where we include a PDF file that's got the stories and... and, and uh, because I always like the stories, and I like um, yeah. and I like knowing you know sort of the inspiration behind certain songs and you know where it come from, and that's great. It really does make a big difference, emotionally speaking. To, yeah, we, to hear the song and know that story, you know, it's really for well, me anyway. Yeah, we, we enjoy sharing that info. You know, it it, it gets it, it endears people to the song a little more. I, I you think know? so, absolutely. It's really it. It's really a lot of fun to hear what other people think the stories oh, are, yeah. though. Right. That I mean, that yeah. I, I I played it in a progressive band years and years ago. That one of the reviews went on about one of the songs and went on in this big, long philosophical <laughs> bent on how this was an ode to friendship and blah 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 blah. And we've read the review and went. <laughs> no, That's we had all just read the Hot Zone and we wrote. We wrote a song about the Ebola virus from the virus's point of view. Nothing brings people together but, like you the know, Ebola virus. But it, <laughs> that's the truth of it. But everyone, ha I mean, the, the theories were just astounding. Wow. So it's kind of nice to just sit back and go, <laughs> yes, yeah, we, that's just what we meant. We have no idea what people think, you know, what, they, what they make of our songs. Uh -huh. and sometimes we get some feedback about sometimes. it. Sometimes. You know, but... Well, hopefully you're getting a bunch. I know you're getting a bunch of feedback. Actually, you've got this album right here. Strings has gotten some some good reviews. You've been nominated for a New England Music Award. Yes, and, and uh, that's, that's something we want. Thanks to Thanks for bringing about. that up. Yeah. Yes, that's right. <laughs> the fiver will be in your envelope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, we've been nominated for uh, best in state uh, category for the state of Maine, and um, uh, so the 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 winners are chosen by online voting which is going on until March 1st. So if this airing happens to be after March 1st, it's too late to vote, folks. But We appreciate the effort, though. If it's not, you can go to NE, as in New England, nemusicawards.com, and there's a link to the uh, voting page. And scroll down to the... Uh, Near the bottom. The best in state uh, categories, to and best in state main. You'll find Hilton Park there, and uh, if you'd be so kind, we'd surely appreciate I it. I voted. You did? Yeah. For who? Right. Did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, for us, we hope. Well, for? I didn't say I voted for you, but, <laughs> yeah. but, but thanks for the link. I did vote. Oh, good. Oh, so much for Great the chance. fiber. I, yeah. you know, yeah, well, you know, fiber, fiber only gets you so far, Greg. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I did go and vote, and um, so I encourage, if this does air before then, which I probably, probably won't, but if it does, definitely go vote. And um, if it's after March 1st, uh, go to their website, which is uh, HiltonParkBand.com, right? Yep. So go to their website. If they do win, there'll be a big banner up there. If they That's don't true. win, you'll never have heard anything about it, right? Right. Like it <laughs> I think happened. the nomination is great, though, and I, I mean... It is great. You know, I don't want to make it's light really of it because cool. it really is, it's important. It know? is. And I it mean, tells it, you how, yeah, there were 11 people nominated across <laughs> 37 categories, so, I mean, we're pretty lucky. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, actually, the... They say there was about there were about four thousand entries this year. Really, for all different genres and everything, and so it's. So did you just? How did that come about? Did you send it in? Did someone no, else send it in? No, um, uh, we were nominated last year as well for a different. Oh, I didn't uh, realize that. Yeah, last year we were nominated for Americana uh, Roots, yeah. Roots Group of the Year, uh -huh. um, and it was uh, one of the online radio stations had brought us to the table. They were on the nominating committee, which oh, was, nice. we were grateful for, and uh, that was very and there's cool. and there's a couple of other ones now. There's um, you know, Granite Coast Entertainment um, has a, a Coastal Roots radio online that's really wonderful. And they, Absolutely uh, fantastic I know, I know they, they brought us to the table well, this year. They play some great yeah, stuff. Wonderful, yeah, wonderful, great wonderful, fun. local, great fun. all local homegrown stuff, so it's really great. We appreciate, appreciate those guys and all they're doing for us, but yeah, they brought us to the table this year. Um, I don't know if anybody else did as well or if it was just them, but... It worked. <laughs> right on. Good for you. So, well, deserve it, in my opinion. You know. Thank you. And for the people at home, this is uh, this is the goal of this show: is to do just that, is to bring people like Hilton Park to the airwaves, so you can get to know them, learn more about them, and hopefully go, you know, support them in the art they make because you know that's really important. Um, you mentioned that you were nominated last year. Uh, the name of the album, the 
debut album. It's called Greener Grass. Right. And uh, that came out a couple, a couple of years ago, right? No, last, last year. Was it last year? I thought it was two years ago. Yeah, no, October. November. It was no November. It was, November, it was November, November, by the time. November of 13, actually. So just okay. a little over a year ago, yeah. All right. So, um, so that was the debut album. Greener Grass is the name of that one. And uh, why don't we do a song off that? And then sure. we'll come back. We'll chat about that a little bit. We'll, we'll whatever do, else you want to chat we'll about. Do, we'll do one of your favorites. Nice. Sure. Thank you. Since there's nobody else here to right. do requests. <laughs> to make yeah. requests. <laughs> so it's called Goodbye Lilac Sky. Love it. Sometimes a man can get so lost, drawn away by erring thoughts of some other life for which he's been pretending. But greener grass is only that, and it can't compare to the garden in your soul that you've spent your whole life tending. Motor's running. I got me a credit card with just enough to get me home, which is far less than I thought needed spending.
Fantastic. Goodbye, Lilacs Guys, the name of that song. Hilton Park's the name of the band right here in our studios today. And that was off their debut album called Greener Grass. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you. And there's a couple of, a couple of questions I have about that, but is it true that you that, that song, you weren't originally going to put it on the first album? <laughs> yeah. You were going to throw that one out? Yeah, I wasn't was... even going to write it. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I... I'm not going to write this song. No, he, well... he played the riffs a few times for Connor, and uh -huh. they had thrown it away, and we were working on some other song, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And Connor we're says, to figure what, self... about, what about that other song? You know, we're so trying he starts to put together it. a set list, and we needed more songs, and I was like, wait a sec, what about that one that we haven't played in a while, Lilac Skies? And they're like... Oh yeah, forgot about that one. And we threw it together in about as long as it takes to play the song. I mean, it was pretty much really yeah. it came together quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even we we put the back background harmonies together in, uh, you know, five minutes and like, oh, well that works. It really okay. does showcase. I love the harmonies on that Thank song. You. It's yes. it's yeah. You know, wow. Thanks to the vocal arranger over here, because yeah. yeah, that's you know. Well and. What we just did now isn't the same as what's on the album. Uh -huh. we, we we threw a yeah. little extra in, and that was just yeah. I, driving the little thing in the middle. The disc not long after we had finally gotten it pressed, mm -hmm. it was like, oh guys, let's try this. And <laughs> what what are you talking about? And it again, it was like ten minutes later we had this you know the weird middle bit. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And actually, there have been times when we well when we played it at the Tupelo, the very first time we ever did it. We did that little crescendo uh -huh. thing, and you could hear people going, whoa. You could actually <laughs> audibly funny. hear people in the audience. So they're like, okay, that worked. Okay, yeah, we're going to keep yeah. that. So yep. that's our unique live version. Right on. Well, that's uh, right. Right. it was a good choice to bring back that song for sure. Thank you. you. Know. I wish I had songs that I, like that that I could just, eh, I don't know if I'm going to. We'll yeah, right. Yeah. We yeah. We're going to throw, throw this one away. Let's just throw this one away. Yeah, away. Bruce, yeah. what else is in that bag? Uh, yeah, yeah, no right, kidding. Right. Just wait and see. <clears throat> and we are live in the studio with Hilton Park, and, you know, we've been, we've been mentioning names here, you know, we're saying, oh, he's my son, and this and that, but we haven't really introduced you individually. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, so why don't we do that so people at home will know exactly who you are and how... Uh, Okay, you, you know. guys start. I'm going to go find my ID. I suppose I could introduce <laughs> you myself. This is Greg Paneer over there on, is that correct? Did I say that last name correctly? Paneer, yeah. Paneer is on piano. Bruce Hilton in the middle playing a bunch of different instruments. And Connor, his son, over here playing a bunch of different instruments as well. But mandolin is, seems to be your weapon of choice. The chick yeah. magnet. And, uh, the chick magnet. It totally it, is. Right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you see him roll and I think his eyes? being in a uh, you know award uh, um, nominated you know band is probably helping you out a little bit in the chick department too. I'm, you know, we don't really want to get into the days of our lives here, but you know, his girlfriend won't let him. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, can't talk about that live on TV. <laughs> nope. so this is a whole different state. No, I guess it isn't a different state. No. <laughs> they're from they're from Baroque, Maine, and uh, we're proud to have them here today in our studios, and. <clears throat> I just what time we got here. Um, now maybe I'll, maybe we'll do another song, but okay. you know, I don't want to start going off on my little. I have a lot of questions, which I always do. All right. Um, well, we'll, you guys we'll, interest yeah, we'll, me. We'll do another one. We'll answer some questions. Let's do something we'll off some of uh, strings. This is a fun one. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll do something off of the new the new CD. This is a song called uh, Scooter and Babs. It's about a, a couple that um, came from absolute opposite ends of the spectrum. You know, they say opposites attract, so mm -hmm. sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So uh, let's find out what happened in All this right. case. Right? Scooter was a red and old reject, didn't want nothing less it come from the ground. He was lewd, crude, incorrect, politically in all respects. Hard, not water down a fruity. How could a man like this ever find love? Well, listen on, Sean. Babs was a beauty queen, college at 17, all inclusive resorts, couldn't stand the outdoors. Five star hotels, baggage gone, oh well. Take a trip to Tiffany's, replace it all. Daddy's little princess kicking, screaming, hollering, she had to eat a plate. Was under thirty dollars. How could a woman like this ever find love? Well, if you think that mud don't mix with wine, if you think that a chicken can't live with a 
swine If you think two people should never be together You get recalibrated cause they just celebrated Fifty years of lawful wedded bliss Who counted on this? Not me How about you, Sean? song was called Scooter and Babs. That's right. And uh, That's I our silly like song. Babs, I'm telling you. It's like a silly that. song. <laughs> it's silly. You don't find too many women like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Great song, though. Thank Very you. fun. Um, and again, the Hilton Park's the name of the band, and you can uh, hear that song off their brand new album, brand spanking new album, called Strings. And uh, that's what it looks like right there. Uh, absolutely fantastic. I wanted to get into, for people at home, um, it sounds like, Hilton Park wasn't really, uh, and for people at home, Bruce has, you're a busy guy in the music world. You've done so much. I met you when you were doing the Digby's. Yeah, Greg um, was in the Digby's too, yeah. Yeah, that's how I met both of you guys I, when you were doing the Digby's. And um, and then I know you played in Whiskey Kill, and you yeah. you did a Beatles tribute album. You mm. recorded the Stinky Blackwater tapes there. That was fun. <laughs> oh, gosh. <And laughs> yeah, yeah. You're the one who remembered. Bad, yeah. I love that. Thank you, that was fun. Thank and you. And it was really, and m most recently, um, which I which I didn't even know that you were in a knack, the knack, the band, the knack cover band. Wow! I didn't even realize. Very that. briefly, yeah, yeah, we uh, we slapped together a, a band, some friends. Uh, Lucky from from the Digbys played uh -huh. drums, and then uh, um, a couple of other friends, Kevin Burt and, and Dave Rabido, um, passionate knack fans, and we always we said, wouldn't it be wonderful just to play that for that got the, the uh, get the knack album. Mm -hmm. Through through the entire thing, just at one show, you know. So we decided to put this thing together. We just did one gig and we had fun uh -huh. and we just hung it up. And now it's you know the, they're talking about it on the official Knack Facebook page. Yeah, no, that was cool. I mean, that has uh, uh, that has some funny. credibility to yeah, it, I suppose. I That's fun. I didn't even know that existed. So until I saw that that uh, that he had posted something about, yeah. I appreciate yeah. the tribute. Right, which is very right, cool. Right. It's fun. It was it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, but I guess where I was going with that is, um, you know, I know you've been you've been working a lot, but it doesn't sound like Hilton Park was uh, was something that was planned. It sort of just grew out of. Yeah. Is that true? It just kind of happened. Yeah. Yeah. It did. Um, now, whose idea was it? I mean, or was it? I mean, obviously, you guys lived together, father and son, and that's how it started. Did you get a hold of each other? Did you say, you know, was it? Did you, Bruce, say to Connor, you know, we should really do this, and Connor, you say? You had like two songs, two or three songs in mind that he was just recording, just slapping together. And he comes to me one day and was like, hey, come up to the studio, let's record some vocal tracks and just see what happens. And it was the first time we've ever really done this before. And it was... It was the first time you ever recorded before? Like, we mm -hmm. ever done stuff together. Uh -huh. It was the first really? time we've ever really done that. Like, you know, other, other than just noodling yeah, or whatever. Yeah, we've dabbled with little stuff, but never something like that. What And what struck us was when we sang together, yeah. uh -huh. there was yeah. this undefinable, you know, resonance. There's certain I don't know what. Yeah, right. exactly. And we were like, wow. Let's find out if other people hear this too. So we started hitting some open mics and just kind of throwing those songs out there. And people were just 
really digging it. So we said, well, maybe we should do something with this and let's let's write some more stuff. Let's record some stuff. And hey, you know, and then like I, the story went before, let's bring let's bring in some piano on this song. And then he never left, mm -hmm. you yep. know, so. Greg has a way of doing that. He does, <laughs> he does. But, Thankfully. But we, it's just been wonderful, just a, just something we did for for fun, you know, mm. with some new instruments, you know, playing right. slide guitar and me getting my mandolin, mandolin and stuff like that, and, and it was like this is really cool. This is a lot of fun. Now, were you were you um, sort of uh, pursuing the rock and roll, rock and roll thing? I would, well, I would. Before, that's what I picture a high school kid doing. Before this started, I used to be in a all teenager uh, classic rock cover band uh -huh. with some friends of mine, and that was pretty cool. I was lead guitar. It was just four of us for a while, and then about a year before the band split up, I brought in a friend on rhythm guitar so we could really fill the sound out. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, three of us were seniors in high school. We got really busy with that, so we are just like, it's kind of split up from there, right. took our own ways. So and I was wanted to pursue this a little bit more because it was a lot different. I didn't really feel like carrying around the Les Paul and the Marshall half stack. Mm -hmm. Hurts the back. Yeah, so now we carry eight guitars to every right, yeah. flipping oh. gig. Yeah. So this is so much better. Yeah, it this is what we do. So they're lighter. So yeah. they're hollow anyway, right? Well, that, was it? A, was it? Uh, I'm I'm assuming that this was a a, a newer avenue, musically speaking, oh, that you were used I to. I traded so. a double neck guitar for uh -huh. my mandolin. So <laughs> was it a surprise Way to you that, oh, that, yeah. that 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 you gravitated toward it yeah, so easily? It was, or? it was different. I mean. It's my thought process to really figure out to play mandolin was uh, the bottom four strings on a guitar upside down, mm -hmm. which I've told people that, and they're like, "But what? Connor's Connor's really because yeah, that's a, the easiest way to think of that's, that. That's wow. how it works for me, so okay. I went with it." But Connor's a, a big fan of melody and and especially um, vocal harmony. Oh, um, yeah. he's he's spent you know a few years in high school in uh, sophomore in, through senior year. I was in my uh, auditioned chambers choir. Chamber choir, um, right? I did vocal excel as well. So we learned a lot about singing and d got a real love for for a cappella music oh. and, and and things like oh, yeah. that. You know, love so um, the stuff we're doing is just we're just having so much fun. Absolutely, with, yeah. Yeah. I'm That's a huge person great. with crunchy, close, tight harmonies. Mm. And the fact that we get to do them all the time oh, makes me so happy. Yeah. I love it. Good. It's so much oh, fun. It. You can feel it. I think, you know, I mean, obviously you and Greg have had a connection for a long time. And I just. Which started with him, actually, because him and, and Greg's son, Graham, were in Cub Scouts. That's where oh, we met. Oh, really? That's where yeah. we met at a Cub so Scout I pack meeting or something. Them. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Set we kind of ran into each other. They were Way out. back. Hunting turkeys or something at a pack meeting. I don't know. Like, uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, it so it was kill what do you your do own, at home? Kill your own bear week or something. I don't know. Yeah, it was something like that. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, I'm glad you guys got together. I'm glad you're doing this, you know, and I'm glad that it's growing and wherever it takes you, you know, best of luck to you for Thanks. sure. Thanks. Let's see the time here. Um, we've got a time for, how about, um, let's see. Let's do one more, and I'll just do a little quick. Goodbye, and then sure. we'll end with one last one if that oh, okay. if that works for you. Yeah, we can do that. So what are we doing now? Um, well, yeah, we only own, we only know eight songs, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one for each can guitar. You do the first one over but again because songs. that was a really good one. Let's do "Sweet Clarity." Okay. Okay. Um, this is a song that was difficult to write. We have we have friends. Um, who have had to deal with uh, family members that have Alzheimer's disease. And I decided to write this song, um, and the trick was to do it tastefully and not be cliche and, and you know, dumb. Um, so, yeah, we, we kind of wrote this from the viewpoint of the afflicted um, person um, giving a message of, of, of hope. I, I pictured an elderly couple uh, when, when, and, the, and the afflicted person all of a sudden has this moment of clarity as they do. Mm. And, and you don't know if it's the last one you're ever going to have. And you don't know how it's long it's going to last. Right. And so what would you do? What would you say? Nice. You know, so that's what this song is about. It's called Sweet Clarity.
That's amazing. What a great song. Thank you. Uh, Hilton Park, live in our studios here. Sweet Clarity is the name of that song. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's great fun. It. Yeah, I love yeah. that song. Yeah. That's so I want to just, I want to, first of all, I want to thank everyone at home for watching the debut Would performance, you know uh, the debut airing of uh, Stay you Tuned you here at Bitford Public Access. I want to thank Hilton Park, Connor, Bruce, and Greg for being so gracious and uh, willing to be my guinea pig here today. 
So I appreciate that. And for sounding so <laughs> fantastic as well. So I do want to tell everyone at home that if you like what you see, um, there'll be an email address. Email me and uh, or email Biddeford Public Access. Tell them you like the show. Go to Hilton Park's website, hiltonparkband.com and um, check them out there. And uh, check out their new disc. The new disc is called Strings. I encourage you to uh, go and check them out wherever they're at. So we're gonna end with one last song. They're gonna play us out of here again. I wanna thank, and I do wanna thank Steve, our sound engineer out back behind the glass for uh, helping us do this. Without him, it wouldn't happen. So, um, so again, thanks guys. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you, Sean. Thanks for all you do. We, we appreciate you too, for yeah, sure. I appreciate that. Absolutely. All right, so we're gonna finish up with uh, a song off of uh, Greener Grass, uh, get things stomping a little bit. This is uh, like an old, kind of a, a, an old feel, uh, old timey blues feel to it. It's called Harder Times Coming. Sing a song for the girl of my dreams.
was awesome, guys. Holy crap. <laughs>